Hey friend, John McLennan here, and in this video you're going to learn how to play Key to the Highway as recorded by Derek and the Dominoes on guitar. Now this progression is a must-know blues chord progression, and it's a little bit different than the standard 12-bar blues that usually a lot of players start with when they talk about blues progressions, but another variation to that is this 8-bar blues. I'm going to break it down for you step by step in this lesson so you can get playing right along with that classic Derek and the Dominoes version. But before we do, if you're new to the channel, I've got a gift for you. I put together this awesome fretboard guide that's going to show you the five chords and scales that I use to map out the entire fretboard. When it comes to playing blues guitar, either rhythm or lead playing, this is one of the most useful just one-page PDFs you're going to see out there, and I want to give it to you completely for free. All you got to do is go to johnmclennan.com slash fretboard guide, or you can click the first link down below as my gift to you. So hope you enjoy that, and with that said, let's break it down. All right, so this is eight bars long, and we're going to be in the key of A. Let me play for you this progression, and then we'll break it down. Here's what it sounds like. Three and four and... All right, so we're starting out with the open A string and then the second fret here on the fourth string. We're just gonna play those two notes together. This is called an A5. And then we'll move up to open A and then the fourth fret of the fourth string. And we're gonna just rock back and forth between those two frets. So the second fret and then the fourth fret. This is a standard just blues shuffle rhythm pattern. Now I am using a little bit of a palm mute here with my strum hand, so I'm muting the strings, and that's gonna sound like this. We're gonna play that A for one bar, then we're gonna shift up one string and go to the E chord here. So this is gonna be the, the sixth string open and then the fifth string at the second fret. We basically take that pattern and we just bring it up one string and then we get this. Now here we're gonna add a little variation in the end. We're gonna go do a little walking bass line here. And Clapton would do this all the time. He would play the four chord. D7, but he would put the F sharp in the bass. So you get that sound there. So we're gonna be playing that E, one and two and three and, but on beat four, we're gonna go and play open E, first fret, second fret. And I'm actually using my thumb to get those notes. Then you add the D7 chord down here, and this is We've got that thumb on the second fret, then usually I'll mute that fifth string, then open two, one, two. We'll play that chord for two bars. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So eight counts there on the D7 over F sharp. So, so far the first four bars go like this. A to E. Now there I was breaking up the D7 a little bit. I was playing the bass note twice and then kind of the higher strings twice. So bass, bass, and then treble, treble. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. You could do that with your strum hand. You could also just do finger style like this. Then we've got the last four bars. Here we're gonna play. Got 
a classic kind of Robert Johnson sounding turnaround lick there. So what I did was play the A again for one bar, then go to E for a full bar. So one and two and three and four and, which is just like what we did at the top, but we're leaving off that little walk-in bass line. We're just going one and two and three and four and, then we'll go back to the root note A. We'll play that twice. Then we'll do this little turnaround lick. And I love this. It's a classic blues lick. I'm playing the fifth fret of the fourth string and then the fifth fret on the first string and I'm just pinching those two notes. Now if you're playing this with a pick, you can do what's called hybrid picking where you, you hold the pick but then use maybe your middle finger to you know get that higher string and pinch them together. Then we're gonna walk down that fifth fret down to four, down to three, down to two. So one and two and three that's really like ending up there kind of on an A shape. This is a common, you know, blues chord all the time. You blues players play the A with one finger and then reach up, grab that pinky there on the fifth fret of the first string. So. Then what you do is you play the low E and do this little blues lick where we play the sixth string, then hammer open third string to the first fret. You hear that all the time in so many blues and rock songs. You're just hammering into that third of the E chord. Then you play the first string open and then the third fret of the second string. So one and two and uh, then you can fill it out by adding in the rest of the notes of this E7 chord here two strums on that. So that would be open, two, two, one, three, open. So. One. And then you're back to the top. So the last four bars go A, E, then the turnaround, and you're finishing with that, that E7 leading you back to the top. So here's the last four bars. All right, then you could either end on the A chord or you could go back and loop it around. So let's try the whole thing. We're gonna put it all together for this eight bar blues. And when you jam this along with the song, when you get to the end, it just goes back to the top. It's just eight bars over and over for the whole song. Here we go, get set, I'll count you in. One and two and three and four and go. Walk up. Turn around here. And on A. So take your time with that. This is one of the most important blues progressions to know. It's not just key to the highway, but it's a lot of other tunes as well. So rewind the video, go over any parts that are unclear, and then to help you put it together even more, grab my fretboard guide at the first link down below. And this is gonna show you the five chords and scales that I use to map out the fretboard. And I used to look down at the guitar neck and feel so much more confused until I understood what I put on just this one page. And you can grab it completely for free. Just go to johnmcclennan.com slash fretboard guide or click the first link down below. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Have an amazing day and we'll see you in another video real soon.